This week we went on a holiday honeymoon kind of thingamajiggy all the way up in Fort William in Scotland and I gotta say it was lovely. We did a lot of things like looking around doing touristy things, a lot of walking, a lot of seeing some funky, funky things from the pub window. Look at that Volvo, how lovely is that? And oh, we've got some sounds. Go. Got some sea sounds. Got to try and find some more sounds now. Lovely. Oh, sounds lovely. Anyway, we stayed for a couple of the nights over at Loman and Susie's place, which is called The Lemps. It's a Airbnb studio kind of place with a lot of multi-purposes, and it's opposite for William over the lock. Lovely jubbly. And yeah, it was, it was a lovely time indeed. I took a Eurorack synthesizer with me because I'm pretty bad at actually not doing anything. So I bought it along. Uh, I kind of just popped it together without any uh, plan. So I, uh, I spent a couple of hours just taking it apart whilst, uh, you know, it was just getting a little bit warm outside. Lovely jubbling. I put a bunch of them in there and I was just going to decide what to actually use. I started using the Befaco for the drums because they make really good drums and stuff like that. And I also used that, which is really, really dusty because I haven't used it for ages. In fact, I tried to use the ones that were the most dusty because they were the least used. It'll be quite a fun little project. Anyway. So this is what I've ended up opting for. There's a lot of dust on some of these because they've been stored for quite a while. But going to the beach yesterday, I recorded some sound and plopped it in the morphogene. And then let's uh, have a fiddle and see what we can get. Yeah, and I got to find some time to have a little bit of a play here and there when I wasn't doing all the other holiday malarkey. And I stupidly realised that I forgot the right wire converter to make this work. So it was very frustrating, but anyway, let's go and have a chat with Loman, shall we? Loman, how's it going? And this is also a recording studio that you let out as well. Yeah. And it's called? The Lengths. The Lengths, yes. Yeah, so we have people up to record and done a couple of gigs up here and do, do like sort of artist in residence projects here as well. So you can see these little geared motors here. So they're like tiny little um, DC motors and it'll go as far as it can go and then kind of flick back. Ah. So if you watch. That simplifies the mechanism yeah. of solenoids. Like. Obviously they're not super powerful, but it's really re reactive, you know? There's, oh my god, whoa, what's the connectors for? Was that microphone? That was it, no, we didn't even end up using that, these little D-sub things, we, we kind of opted for something else. Oh, but the board that drives it is called a J-Omega board, and that was like... And that's in here, that's yeah. a MIDI to motor thing, yeah, isn't it? just MIDI to voltage, basically. And they're used, you'd be quite interested in because they're used a lot for, like, pipe organs. Oh, yeah, I see. These motors are really interesting. I'll have to yeah, look yeah. into these. The secret's out. <laughs> get, your, get your Jimmy Tens. Get your right? Jimmy Tens. I had a, a big sort of percussion arrangement. There's actually a video on my YouTube page of me doing something with the whole thing. And of course, that will be linked below, so have a look. What you got here? Just a turntable sequencer that I made for my Eurorack. So it's just using these little proximity switches. I think all they are is just a reed switch that's put in like a plastic housing mm. and then used for like sensors for, for bur burglar alarms and windows and stuff like that. But again, they're super, super reactive. So like they're dead snappy. And this is a transcription turntable. So it's like variable speed, 45. <laughs> triggers to different parts of the modular and again you can get you can get super fast and it still just always picks it up you know and I put some mutes on it so that you can kill it ah uh, yeah and then if you want to you can kind of um some weird little samples. I don't know if that'll work or not. Actually. Oh yeah, listen. So you can kind of sample a record while you're doing it and mash it up a little bit. Oh yeah. But yeah, it's that simple. It's really just sending out. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, they're magnetic as well, so you can 
Yeah, you can have different beats. Yeah, of, like, around. Program little beats using this kind of rotary sequencer method. It's a, it's a metal. It's a, yeah, it's just a, a side of a computer. <laughs> so this is a harmonograph. So these were around um, like sort of mid 1800s and they were kind of used like to illustrate mathematical harmony um, and they were used in an educational way but then towards the end of the, the century they were kind of just wheeled out at parties and like you know they'd be having like coffee gin or whatever and just stand around the harmonograph and like that would be their party entertainment but um, this I had the same system set up so you can see these proximity switches I had the same idea for using it with a modular but then mm. I ended up um, sending it away to an exhibition in Orkney uh, that was with a bunch of poets so I changed it a little bit and now it's got like a little Raspberry Pi underneath uh -huh. and it's just running a pure data script with some kind of ambient generative sounds that are triggered by these pendulums There's two in all, yeah, two proximities yeah, yeah. And there might be some weird kind of poetry comes out original version I had a little um, contact microphone underneath the board so it picked up the sound of the pen as well which was really cool because it was like rhythmically in time but yeah the, the drawings are always really beautiful you know well, we'll leave it to draw whilst we look at the next one yeah so this is one that I'm kind of working on just now this is called the unsung machine not being able to get it to make any sound for us yet but essentially it's quite simple it's basically a kind of MIDI controller but it's controlled by this mechanism this interface that i've devised you can enter words in um computer so yeah this is this is kind of a way of like storing your settings oh so th then you're like oh i like that but then i can't i can't remember it, yes <laughs> so this is always listening so if you wanted to like put um so would it be oh wow I've got spaces as well yeah so that could be stored in slot one, and then the next one would be... Oh, yeah. That'd be stored in two, and then three, I think we've already got computer. Close. Oh. The play wheel remembers these settings. So these three settings here, um, we're going in between them, and all the values in between for these eight MIDI CC um, values. And I did this thing where I asked people to send me like poems and secrets, oh. so that I had some like, Stimuli to put into yeah. the machine. Well, I'm glad we got to have a look around at some of these machines. There's plenty more, and there's videos and links on, yeah. on, on your channel and stuff. So have a look at that. Anyway, we'll get back get back to some music. <laughs> Spoiler alert! I didn't get another chance to play on it, so let's have a go on it now. Right, let's see what we can do with this setup that I took all the way to Fort William and didn't end up using. It's quite a haphazard collection, I've got to be honest, but let's give it a go and see what happens. First off, with any luck, there should be an output from the Morphogene, which has got the audio sounds, those water, that water sounds. There we go. Right, let's try and make a drum beat. I've got the Variegate 8, as you can see, I haven't used it for a little while. And we'll start by putting a kick drum in. This is the kick all by Bafaco. And we're gonna plug it into the input. Oh my God, that's noisy, isn't it? There we go. Okay, so we'll turn up the probability of a couple of these. Let's try a bit of a snag. And we'll get another one and we're going to try and do that as a hi-hat kind of thing from another noise. Get the triggers out of one of these. Let the performance begin.
That got a little bit clippy. Anyway, you can check out Lomond and stuff. There are links below if you're interested. There's links below to his website and YouTube and also a link to the Lemps, which is the Airbnb that we booked that is at Lomond's place. And I've got to say it was a lovely week indeed. Anyway, I'm back at work now and the next video is going to be on the organ, the preset board on the organ. So check that out in about seven days. There's a longer video about building up the patch on this over on Patreon, as well as a longer and edited version of Lomond's interview. And Patreon, needless to say, helps to make these videos and projects possible. Anyway, until next time, I'm like my no computer rules and web rules.